July of this year, the temperatures are the hottest ever on record. That's the assessment from climate experts and leaders at NASA and NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, who said Monday that 2023 could end up being the warmest year since record keeping began in the mid 1800s. The heat may seem like old news to anyone who experienced broiling temperatures last month, but NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said the warming planet was also fueling disasters from flash flooding in Vermont to deadly wildfires in Hawaii. And of course, what we're watching in real time, the disaster that has occurred in Hawaii with the wildfires, which were in part fueled by a typhoon or hurricane that was out in the Pacific. A blaze that incinerated a beach town on Maui has become the state's worst ever natural disaster and led to the largest number of deaths from U.S. wildfire in more than 100 years. Both local and global changes may have contributed to the scope of the inferno. Gavin Schmidt is a climate researcher and director of the NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies. There are local situations um, uh, right uh, right on Maui that are related to uh, abandoned sugar plantations, non-native grasses, um, the, the, the high growth of grass in the spring, uh, the drying out that Sarah just mentioned uh, there. Uh, but you've also got longer term trends. You've got longer term trends in rain rainfall. Uh, so storm tracks have been moving north with climate change. Uh, Hawaii has been getting, uh, in, in general, less rainfall um, decade by decade. Researchers say they expect 2024 to be even hotter. And folks, Mother Nature is sending us a message. And that message is we better act now before it's too late to save our climate. NASA is making all of the information it collects publicly available and is working to make it easier to use so that people can understand what's happening in their communities and help plan for the future. I think we can all agree that freedom of expression is not limitless. Your words have consequences. Your actions have fallout. So the line must be drawn somewhere. The only question is where. So there are upgrades across the board. All three defense services are getting bigger and more lethal weapons. And this is the need of the hour. China's buildup on the border remains a concern, 38 months and counting. India needs better weapons to secure its front lines. So arms trade is just another source of income for them. And this is a serious setback in the fight against terrorism, all because of American callousness. So the stock rally is like a vote of confidence from investors. They are betting on India. They're positive about the India story. It's the government's job now to repay that faith. This incident once again highlights the role of social media and the internet. It's a double-edged sword, really. So tough times for the world. There is inflation, layoffs and pay cuts. But not for King Charles of Britain. Forget pay cuts. He's all set to receive a massive pay hike. What is offensive to one religion could be sacred to another. Europe must realize this. They keep lecturing the world about minorities, how they should be protected, how their rights and culture must be promoted. But at home, it's the exact opposite. People are burning the holy book of your minority group. And what is your response? You say it's freedom of expression. 